It's umsum time. What if we could switch the sun on off? That's easy. I do it every day. Oh, umsum. If we could switch the sun on off, humans might do this repeatedly. Sun might get very upset. Hmm. Other planets may not like this. They may throw Earth out of the solar system. Hmm. Animals may get confused. They may not know when to sleep and when to wake up. Hmm. Sun might get frustrated and grab the remote control from humans. Hmm. Bosses may try to keep the sun always on. Hmm. People who love cold weather may always try to keep the sun off. Sellers of air conditioners may always try to keep the sun on. Hmm. Aliens might get super impressed. They might try to steal the remote from us. Hmm. We might lose the remote. Sun huh? might remain off forever. Hmm. Even other planets may build their own remotes. Sun might face a lot of difficulties. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if the sun exploded? Don't worry. Umsum will provide light to everyone. <laughs> oh, Umsum. Firstly, one planet in the solar system might also vanish. Which one? Simple. Huh? If the sun exploded, Mercury, the closest planet to the sun, might also break into pieces. Hmm. Secondly, all the planets might get extremely tired. But why would we get tired? The nearest star is far, far away. If the sun exploded, planets will have a long, long journey ahead. Huh? Hmm. Lastly, we may need to purchase hearing aids for all the planets. Really? Yep. If the sun exploded, the noise caused by the explosion might make all the planets go deaf. Hmm. Why can't birds fly in space? They want to, but I keep on bringing them back. What? Oh, I'm so. How birds fly can be best explained using Bernoulli's mm. principle. Wings of the birds play a major role in this. The shape of their wings causes air to move much faster oh. above their wings as compared to the huh? air moving below their wings. This difference in air pressure pushes up on their wings, creating a lift, thus allowing a bird to fly. Mm. Also, definition of to fly is to move in or pass through air with wings. Mm. Now, space is a vacuum. Ah. It has no air. Thus, without air, a bird will not be able to fly. Finally, even if birds were able to fly in space, they will not be able to swallow food. Ooh. Why? Mm. Because birds depend on gravity Ooh. to push their food downwards. Mm. <laughs> Why do we get sunburn? Cause sun is jealous of my skin. <laughs> no. Huh? Sunburn is a term for red and inflamed skin. Hey! It is caused by ultraviolet radiation present in sunlight. Oh. Sunlight consists of three types of ultraviolet radiation. UVA, UVB, and UVC. Oh. Does it contain UVC as well? Oh, just listen. Huh? Our skin is made up of cells. These cells have DNA. When we are in the hot sun for very long, oh. the UVB radiation enters into our skin cells and starts to damage the DNA. Huh? DNA damage can lead to cancer. Thus, to reduce the risk of cancer, the damaged skin cells kill themselves. This program cell death is called apoptosis. Apoptosis activates the immune response. As a result, the blood flow increases to that area to heal the skin. This leads to red and inflamed skin, which we call as sunburn. Hmm. Can animals get a sunburn? Yes. Due to ultraviolet radiation of the sun, animals can also get sunburns. However, to protect themselves from the harmful radiation, 
different animals have different biological defenses. For example, reptiles have scales, birds have feathers, animals like sheep, dogs, and cats have fur or hair, sperm whales have a special protein, fin whales have more melanin, etc. Does anybody have Captain America's shield? Oh, please listen. Some animals even produce certain substances to protect themselves from the harmful radiation. For example, hippopotamuses secrete a fluid made up of red and orange pigments. Some fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds produce a chemical called gadisol. In addition to this, animals like rhinoceroses, elephants, and pigs take mud baths. It is said that mud acts like a physical barrier between their skin and ultraviolet radiation, thus preventing them from <laughs> getting sunburns. Why do astronauts wear orange and white spacesuits? Because orange and white are my favorite colors. No. The orange spacesuit is called Advanced Crew Escape Suit. Astronauts wear it during the launch and landing period. But why? Because if there is any malfunction during the launching or landing period and the astronaut has to abandon the space shuttle, this particular shade is the most visible color against any landscape, especially against the blue sky and sea, thus making it easy for the rescuers to spot the astronaut. Now, the white spacesuit is called extravehicular activity suit. Astronauts wear it when they go outside the space shuttle to do some work. It is white in color for two reasons. Firstly, in space, the astronaut oh. is exposed to extreme heat of the sun, and white is the color which reflects more heat than any other colors, thus preventing the astronaut from getting mm. too warm. Secondly, white color makes it easy to spot the astronaut against the black expanse of space. Why do astronauts float in the space station? Simple. Um, some makes them float using magic. Oh, um, some. <laughs> Astronauts are actually in free fall. Hmm. Let me explain. In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hmm. For example, if we drop a feather and a rock, air will make the feather fall more slowly. Now, if there were huh? no air, then both would fall at the same rate. Similarly, the space station, the astronauts, and the objects are all falling around Earth. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Hmm. Wait, but how is the space station falling around Earth? This is because it is moving at the right speed so that the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Huh? Hence, the space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. Why is space black? Because somebody forgot to pay the electricity bill. Nah. Our sun is a huge star, which emits a tremendous amount of light. However, like our sun, there are so many stars in the universe that counting them is almost impossible. So, if there are so many stars, the space shouldn't be black or dark, right? Absolutely! However, this is not the case. According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from far, far away stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears uh -huh. black. Hmm. Why do astronauts wear orange and white spacesuits? Because orange and white are my favorite colors. No. The orange spacesuit is called Advanced Crew Escape Suit. Astronauts wear it during the launch and landing period. But why? Because if there is any malfunction during the launching or landing period and the astronaut has to abandon the space shuttle, this particular shade is the most visible color against any landscape, especially against the blue sky and sea, thus making it easy for the rescuers to spot the astronaut. Now, the white spacesuit is called Extravehicular Activity Suit. 
Astronauts wear it when they go outside the space shuttle to do some work. It is white in color for two reasons. Firstly, in space, the astronaut oh. is exposed to extreme heat of the sun, and white is the color which reflects more heat than any other colors, thus preventing the astronaut from getting mm. too warm. Secondly, white color makes it easy to spot the astronaut against the black expanse of space. 